All right, boys and girls, here we are, day four of your May Daily Math. Number one, fill in a number to make this true. So we have three quarters or three fourths, and it's going to be equal to something over eight. So how do we get from four to eight? We multiply four times what? Very good. Four times two is eight. Therefore, we also need to take three and we need to make it um, and multiply it by the same number. So if this is times two, this is times two. Four times two is eight. Three times two is six. Very good. Number two is asking us to uh, draw hands on the clock to show this answer. Uh, and now this answer up here is meaning uh, where it should be. And I just happened to still have that from yesterday. So here we go. We have 235, right? And then we counted back 30 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There you go. So it's going to show 205. Hour hand at 2, minute hand at the number 1, which is 5 minutes. Okay. Uh, number three, this is a fun one. I like this. Multiplication search. Can you find six equations? Write them here. One of them has been done for us. Three times three is nine. So let me see. Is two times four, five? No. Is four times five, 20? Yes, it is. So we can go like this and write down four times five equals 20. Well, seven times 10, 10 times 45, no. Uh, let's see, 14 times 1, 1 times 8. Hey, is 1 times 8, 8? Yeah. 1 times 8 equals 8. So there's another one. Now let's go up and down. Is 3 times 2, 7? No, but 2 times 7 is 14. Right? So 2 times 7 equals 14. Uh, 3 times 4, 10. 4 times 10, 1. 9 times 5, hey, hey, there it is, there it is. 9 times 5 is 45, right? Does that make sense? 9 times 5 equals 45. Now let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Got another one in here somewhere. Three times three is nine. Um, two times seven is fourteen. Three times four is ten. Got no one. I'm not finding one here. Are you? Two times twenty is. You know what? I'm gonna leave that up to you to find then, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Well, I'm going to skip on it for now. I can't find it, boys and girls. I'm stumped. You have to unstump me. Okay, can you unstump it for me? I mean, maybe we could do the diagonal, right? Is that what we're supposed to do? I thought we were going up or down. You know what? It never says anything, does it? I was looking up or down. I'm going to say that's it then. Let's do it. 2 times 5 equals 10. Never said we couldn't. All right. Number 4. We're going to look on that number line, and here's zero, all the way over to one, and it's asking us what fraction uh, the each letter stands for. So here we have number, uh, excuse me, letter A. What's the fraction for A? So first here's one, here's zero. So there's one, two, three, four equal pieces. So our denominator is going to be four. How many over? One. So A is one-fourth. Again, B, we're splitting it a fourth. So one, two, three, four. B, how many over is it? One, two. It's two fourths, which also is equivalent to one half. Now, if you notice, C is not on a line, is it? So we're going we're gonna to have to kind of add another piece in the middle. So now, instead of splitting it into four equal pieces, now our number line is splitting into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our denominator for C is 8, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eighths. 
for number four. All right, number five, uh, ray light, re, excuse me, write the related division equation for each one above. Three times three is nine, so nine divided by three equals three. We're just going to flip it backwards, all right? So number two is 20 divided by five equals four. Eight divided by eight equals one. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. 45 divided by 5 equals 9. Oh, I can't see it there, can you? All right. And the last one, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Give you a chance there to check that out. Be able to see it a little bit easier there. And there we go. There is day four of our May daily math. Thanks, boys and girls. We'll see you later.